ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jason Perdue. And I'm Chuma Perdue. And we are live from allegedly Guadalajara, Mexico today. Our first event in Mexico wow. for St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day, Day Demolition. Demolition. Well, La Cruz says New Mexico, we're close. Yeah, close enough, I guess. What am what an incredible pay-per-view we have in store for you today. It is the last one before Wrestle Bash. That's right, we are setting the stage for Wrestle Bash. Tonight we are going to find out who the St. Patrick's Day champion will be going into that event for Holiday Supremacy. And we're going to find that out in a series of two fatal four-way matches that will result in a number one contendership match. And then the winner, the winners, will face each other for the title. Of course they will. We have an incredibly action-packed night lined up for tonight's show, so you're not going to want to miss this year's St. Patrick's Day Demolition. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal, and we are on the road to Wrestle Bash. We can't be any more excited, and I have heard that we do have a special guest commentator. Antoine will be joining us for a match tonight. Oh, wow. In his Yes, and this will be the last event for him before he battles at Russell Bash himself for the fairy tale, fairy tale Championship. Antoine's road to his success has been absolutely incredible. Went from an unwanted commentator to a Russell Bash star. Exactly, and we may still hate him, and we may be cheering for him to lose right now at Russell Bash, but hey, you have to give him props. He definitely has done great things with his life. Well, I don't know with his life, <laughs> but with his career. Yeah, speak for yourself. I'd love to see Antoine win at Wrestle Bash. I'm sure you would. <laughs> for but something as prestigious as the fairy tale title. It is very prestigious. So many individuals have held that title. They've come from so many different places. God himself had the title, I believe. He did. And that's right, we start off St. Patrick's Day Demolition with the longest reigning champion of all time, Jim Bronzel. He is here once again after losing the Extreme Wrestling Organization Championship, and now he's back here at St. Patrick's Day Demolition. He certainly is. beautiful pyro and that beautiful set. It is beautiful. I don't know who Shelton Benjamin is, but is I don't know either. Maybe he's built it. I don't know. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey. Weighing in at 246 pounds. Jim! Yes, Jim Bronzel, as I said, longest reigning champion of all time. He lost the championship well, originally he lost it in kind of a controversial manner, but then Warlow retained the title in the rematch. One of the biggest rematches of all time I think we've ever seen. If not the biggest. And he definitely earned his right at that championship. Now coming to the ring. Do and not be cool. First from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 227 pounds. All right, well, he's from Japan now. He was from China. He used to say he was from China. Maybe he resides there now full time. Maybe. But he was trained in Japan. He is an incredible martial artist. Shan Seo. And he made his return here not, I think it was last month at Valentine's Day Destruction. Yeah, it wasn't too long ago where he made his comeback. After he was absent for a few appearances. Certainly was. Or lack thereof. He always has such a calm entrance. He does, but he is brutal. Absolutely brutal in the ring. Now he was a former Saint or he was a former Valentine's Day champion, I know. Yeah, he was. Somehow. He beat the Cupid for the title in 2021 but then he lost it of course recently in a triple threat match at the last pay-per-view and he was destroyed by Otunga at Christmas Carnage <laughs> now boys and girls we have Dragon Chan and from Osaka Japan 
weighing in at 246 pounds, the Dragon. He only has two wins in the EWO. They were against, well, in a fatal four-way, both of them in fatal four-way matches. Yeah. But he's never been a number one contender for anything, never held a title. He's been around quite a long time, though. Maybe this is his year. It could be. We could see his career turn for the better, to, uh, possibly tonight even. Could be the start of his turnaround, but could we'll be. just have to find out. Weighing in at 355 pounds, Richie Jones. Richie. Well, he's never been Richie Jones Richie, but he is Moneybag Jones. He's a former Intercontinental Champion. He was a nominee for Match of the Year against Dr. Plague at Brawl to End It All. And you can see that match and more on the EWO's YouTube channel where we have a plethora of different incredible matches for you to see in one video. That's right, we do some of the best matches in the Extreme Black Wrestling Organization of all time. Now I see he is without his manager Foxy Jones this evening, who usually helps him cheat. That's true, there has been a very, very long history of Foxy Jones and her cheating ways in the ring or rather outside of the ring. Moneybag Jones, we must say, is on a five-match losing streak. Oh, boy. Yes. He must not be happy about that. He has not won a match since he won the Intercont... Well, since he lost the Intercontinental Championship, they say. And here we go, the first match of the evening. Whoever wins this will move on to the final. And arms locking up on both sides, and wow! Oh, a double back body drop at the third double suplex at the same time. What a way to start out the night. Yes. What an elbow drop there by Moneybag Jones, and it's oh, another wow. one. Planting chance sale. Got a cover there. Not going to the No, not a very ambitious cover. He didn't even lock a leg, but making his appearance here known in Guadalajara, Mexico this evening. Dragon Chan going after the former champion Jim Bronzel and they lock up. Oh wow, what a maneuver by Dragon Chan. Yes, the standing Hurricane Rana takes the former champion down to the mat. Oh, what chops and punches by Money Bad Jones now. Chan Seo tried to come back, but and now going for it looks like ooh, that leg lock. That leg lock. Yes, oh, he does wow. this, I believe, three times a week in the knee area and the ankle area, and that's very important. Because Shan Sale, remember, strikes with his legs many a time. He does. Jim Bronzel knocked out of the ring. Not a bad idea by Dragon Chan. Get the champion out of the way and focus on the other competitors. Loading yeah. to the crowd. Yes, now. I don't know if that's a good idea this early on. Probably not. Moneybag Jones trying to go after him. Gets him to the ground. Yes, and now the former Intercontinental Champion going after uh, Dragon Chan with the same moves he used on Shan Sale that sent him to the outside. Could be seen as a good strategy, but doing the same thing to everyone, I don't know about that. Yeah, we know it usually doesn't work out. When you go to the well one too many times, sometimes the, drought, the, the well becomes dry. Something like that. And Dragon Chan just thrown out of the ring yes, by Jim Ronzel. Yes, he giving is. Giving him a taste of what happened before. Chan Sale now introducing Moneybag Jones' forehead to the turnbuckle. This now, is an extreme rules match. As many are in the EWO. We wouldn't be the extreme wrestling organization without the extreme. Of course. Now Shan Sale in the ring with Money Bad Jones. Oh, oh my goodness. What a knee to the jaw. And now climbing the ropes. We don't oh, see him wow. do this often. But he's still doing Is it he right going now. For that? Oh, he's oh like, he tries to do the fun stuff. I think it was a headbutt, actually. Something like that, but he missed either way. But now Money Bad Jones going for that vertical suplex here. No, trying. Chanceo block. Oh, he didn't he get it. He still gets it. No. Oh, Chanceo oh, with the knee to the head and a wow. belly, belly to back suplex there. Takes the former Intercontinental Champion down. Good thinking on Chanceo to be able to pull that off. And now the first to go under the ring and he grabs a oh. sledgehammer. But not making much use of it as Money Mad Jones quickly sees that. Yeah. Struggling for control now. Takes him down to the outside. Jim runs out now. Oh, man. With control of Dragon Chan. And there's the sidewalk slam by the former champion. Back, and a cover, a quick cover. Oh, wow. 
One, One two. two. Only a two count action yes. in and outside the ring. You gotta think Jim Brunzel is probably the favorite in this match, right? And there is the Atlantic City Slam. Oh, wow. How do you come back from that? This has got to be it. One, one, two, three. Jim Brunzel makes quick work of this match and will move on to the finals for the St. Patrick's Day number one contendership. You got to think. Here is your winner, Jim. You got to think, would that have happened so quickly? if Shansale and Moneybag Jones weren't occupied on the outside. It seemed like there was a lot of a lot of um, paying attention to what was going on until the sledgehammer was introduced. Yeah, after that, there just seemed to be some bad blood, and they just took it out of the ring. They didn't even notice what was going on inside. And we apologize. We don't have any graphics at ringside tonight, but we are sponsored by Irish Spring, the skin-drying cheap soap that nobody likes to use. And remember, it also repels rodents from your house. That was a great match. It was. It was a very good one to start out tonight's uh, pay-per-view. So as we said, we will see Jim Bronzo go into the finals and we'll face one of these four men here. All for, oh my gosh! Is that who I think it is? It's the Leprechaun. He's back. No way! Well, what better pay-per-view to return than St. Patrick's Day demolition? Of course. We haven't seen him in two years. We haven't. I wonder what's been happening. I don't know. By the looks of it, he's aged a little bit. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> or was in a serious fire. <laughs> the Leprechaun, of course, if you have forgotten, defeated Freddy Krueger for the St. Patrick's Day Championship, but lost to Batman. He also appeared at WrestleBash 20 for the Holiday Supremacy match, and he won. So he is a former Holiday Supremacy title holder as well. But he retired from the EWO to focus on finding gold. However, incredible He's to back. see him here again tonight. Wow. Anything can happen in the EWO. Absolutely anything. I wonder if he ever found the gold. Well, I don't think he'd be scrounging for pennies here if he did. <laughs> but it's possible. Maybe this is for fun. Maybe. He, he maybe, looks very unhealthy. Maybe this is just his sick, twisted vision of a good time. Could very well be. Something is very unsettling about him, though. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I feel like somebody peed in his lucky charms. It's never the same after that fateful night. No, I don't believe so. Oh, what's this? It's a fatal four-way extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 180 pounds, Alan Dino. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, Aladdin was from Agrabah, correct? Yeah. Yes, Agrabah. And there's no Apu here tonight because you're not allowed to bring monkeys to ringside in Mexico, from what I heard. <laughs> But yeah, Aladdin seems to be a crowd favorite. He does. He made his debut in the Fairy Tale Battle Royal, what was it, la I think last month? I think so. He did, as a matter of fact. But he'll be competing in this Fairy Tale match. Whoa. Whoa. Stark contrast there. Oh my. Oh. We and cannot forget about him. From out of this world. Weighing in at 308 pounds, the king of old school, Kevin Bordorf. I don't think so. No, but he is Ganondorf, and he was the first ever winner of the Royal Rumble in 2019. He went on to face Luigi at WrestleBash, and he lost the match. He won the most notable match in the whole time. Yes. He also won another Royal Rumble match, and he became number one contender, but he lost that match, too. Oh, we know what that sound is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Well, boys and girls, we apologize that Vladimir Putin is here. Oh, from no. Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 200. Russian Maniac! 
He is a Russian maniac, and yeah. we apologize for his presence here, ladies and gentlemen. And we hope he absolutely gets destroyed in this match. I hope so. Vladimir Putin competing to be St. Patrick's Day number one contender. And he might want to turn that tank around and bring it back because from what we've heard, his Russian troops aren't doing very well in Ukraine right now. But, oh, maybe he heard me. <laughs> oh, no. No, I guess not. There is something very wrong with this man. Extremely. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. Maybe that's how you dance when you're a maniacal dictator. It, it could be. All right, we've seen enough. The crowd's not very happy to see him. I wonder why. Oh boy. Oh man. Making his return to the EWO, boys and girls, the Leprechaun. I think. Maybe sometime this year. There he is. He looks very excited to be back. Yeah. Now, question. Asking for a friend. And was he mauled from in America? Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 205 <laughs> pounds. The Lunatic. You know, I think it's quite a possibility. I mean, he seems very jolly. He seems very happy. Yeah. But so do a lot of serial killers before they're caught. <laughs> oh my god. No, thank you. Greeting his opponents at ringside. Okay. Very nice. Interesting. Very nice of them to do. I, you saw that fan at ringside scratching his head wondering what on earth was happening. <laughs> I can't blame that fan. Okay, well, anyway, the shock is over. The Leprechaun has returned. He has. Well, the crowd really does like him. For now. I don't know why. It's not often we're this speechless at an entrance. But yeah. Ganondorf painting the space green for the event. Welcome back, Leprechaun. We wish you the best of luck in this Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match. The winner will take on Jim Bronzel for the number one contendership. God. And here we go. Ganondorf with a gut wrench suplex to the Leprechaun to start the match off. Vladimir Putin in control of Alan. Oh, a running press slam. And Ganondorf climbing oh, the world. Oh, wow, early. Oh. Wow. His frog splash paid off. And the ladder to the cover, surprisingly. One, one two. two. Oh, oh. Well, Ganondorf tried to break that up, but I think Vlad kicked out at the last yeah, second. Yeah, that's seen some interesting maneuvers early on. Yes. The Leprechaun really in control of Ganondorf now, surprisingly. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Aladdin. With some aggression there. Can't blame him. I wonder how the Leprechaun's hat stays on. No, I don't know. Or whether or not he's wearing a mask. Or a wig. I know I really hope so. <laughs> Leg drag there by Ganondorf. And now, boom! Oh! Splash. Vladimir Putin's got, oh, never mind, Aladdin now. But Vladimir Putin trying something here. Oh, very interesting wow. maneuver. That was kind of like a, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know either. A cover attempt by Vladimir Putin goes nowhere. No. And now the Leprechaun going after Vlad Putin and the crowd's here. Whoa! 
Oh, too bad he missed that. He tried that springboard somersault, but yes, Vlad Putin moved out of the way just in the nick of time. He just throws him out of the way. Now going after the hand? I think so. There may have been claws on those hands. It's hard to <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I do know there's razor sharp teeth. Yeah. Oh, Aladdin now rolling back into the ring and apparently gonna stand there. <laughs> okay. Vladimir steps out of the ring. He does. Oh, Vlad Putin going for a weapon, of course. Oh, wow, the left is not in a vicious knee job. Vlad Putin with the chair. Oh, no. Oh, oh wow. Oh, Vlad slaps it out of his hand. Yes, he does. Vlad is continuing to slap him viciously. He does. And now a suplex wow. to the dictator. And, and the dictator out. goes, oh, Ganondorf Drop threw the leprechaun onto that chair. That's got it. Huh? Sure does. Leprechaun, not sure who's doing it. I don't think so. But Ganondorf, oh no. Got him on his shoulder. Oh, with ease. There's zero strain whatsoever. Taking a break. I don't know, and looks like Vladimir Putin got. Yes, but that's a submission hold. maneuver and smart for the leprechaun to break that up. It is. And now. Dropping the leprechaun. Yes, he does. Ganondorf now re entering the ring. Oh, wow. Vlad Putin somehow in control. I don't, I don't know how. Vlad looking under the ring. Vlad oh. the. Is that a kendo stick? I think it might be. Is he going to use it? Or is he just going to sit there? No, oh, he's going to use it. He hit them both. And now wow. going after the dictator. And the crowd going crazy for that. I thought maybe the ladder was going to pull a lamp from over the ring. Maybe. Conjure the genie and have him help out to come out. Yeah, I don't think that's legal. Maybe not. It's extreme rules, though. It could be. I'm no, the leprechaun. What's he going to pull out? Out of gold, maybe. No, no he's got a table. table. He's got oh, a table. Man. But Ganondorf with the cover one! And he just throws two. it down because oh, he's trying to get there in time. In the nick of time. Now the table's just sitting on the outside. The leprechaun is quite a punch. Two punches to Ganondorf blocking the marshmallows right out of his lucky charms. And Vladimir Putin going for yet another item. And he's oh, got the sledgehammer. Hammer. Items left and right in this match. There are. And oh, the leprechaun he misses. Missed that. Goodness. What would happen there? I don't know. And now, oh man, a power bomb to the leprechaun. I don't know if you've noticed, but this entire match, the lad has been going absolutely brutal on specifically Vladimir Putin. He definitely time. has. Surprise everybody in the game. It seems like the lad specifically has some kind of hatred. He's a war criminal. Oh, oh wow, almost a three count. Almost. They're really not getting dark and lad and really are not paying attention to what's going on. They are the three occupied on the outside. Who left the car with the punch? Oh, and he scratches oh, the back with those nasty, rabies infested claws, probably. Oh, my. And just hammering the face wow. of the dictator. Leprechaun's definitely done some interesting things this morning. Yes. I don't know what he's doing here. I have no idea. Is this a submission? Maybe. I think so. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, wow. God, no. Yes. Going after the war criminal with a submission. Move. Just vicious. And it covered by the leprechaun. Good One, it. two, three. The leprechaun in his return will fight Jim Bronzel for the St. Patrick's Day number one contendership. How fitting is that? Here is your winner, the lunatic. Yeah, clearly. Well, equal. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, look at that face. <laughs> If you have children watching this event tonight, you might want to turn them away, folks. It's too late. True. <laughs> wow. That was a face only a mask maker could love. <laughs> well, we have a quick break in the action. Truma, why don't you tell us what's going on with your YouTube channels? 
Well, folks, on AJ Monster Trucks, we have had Apex Tour continuing. We were in Indianapolis, Indiana at Lucas Oil Stadium for an absolutely crazy show. And now we are finishing up our stay in Tampa, Florida at the Raymond James Stadium. We have a beautiful track and a, an, an incredible lineup of 12 monster trucks. And soon they are going to battle it out in the freestyle competition. Wow. That's a lot of excitement upon the return of AJ Monster Trucks. So many different events going on after a, what was it, a two or three month Three absence. months. We're just trying to make up for the loss of three months. Yes. Well, back to the action here. We have a table tag match that's about to occur between the Bakery Boys, the Idiots making their return, and the Dead Dudes. Oh, boy. Yes, we need to find out who will face the Mario Brothers at Wrestle Bash. So, this is a qualifier. Whoever wins this match will go on to face whoever wins the next match. Which is good. We're giving individuals opportunities to appear at the biggest show in the history of ever, Wrestle Bash 23. Everybody gets a fair chance. They certainly do. We're not like some of these other wrestling organizations that predetermine everything. Things literally are at random here in the EWO, unless you're Batman and win a Royal Rumble. <laughs> He shouldn't have become a criminal. Exactly. I don't know what they're booing, but... The break in the action, maybe? Maybe. Maybe they're a Batman fan. They don't like him being called a criminal. Oh, no. Oh, no. The following contest is a triple threat tag team tables match. Introducing first, from Florida... Weighing in at 313 pounds, Dono! Well, boys and girls, this could be his last public appearance before he's arrested on Tuesday, according to himself. Let's hope. And question, does he not know how to tie a tie, or is he wearing two? I don't know. And how do we get lucky enough to have three dictators in one event? We got Kim Jong-un, Vladimir Putin, and Donald Trump. Unbelievable. <laughs> Only on the extreme wrestling organization. That is the truth. Well, Donald Trump, boys and girls, he actually has made a name for himself in the Extreme Wrestling Organization. Unfortunately. He is a former Christmas champion. He was Match of the Year nominated against Joe Biden at Brawl to end it all. And of course he lost that match, which is why Joe Biden is president. But you can watch that match and more on the EWO YouTube channel if you go to the Best Matches video. That's right, you absolutely can, and I recommend checking it out because the action is incredible. It is. Donald Trump, former tag team champion as well, remember, with the idiots, uh, with Mike Pence. But Mike Pence is busy thinking about whether or not he wants to run for president, so he will not be here tonight. Donald Trump will be teaming with this next announced individual, the dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. He always looks and very happy. From oh, yeah. Yongyang, North Korea, weighing in at 258 pounds, the Maniac! He's a maniac for sure. Yeah. He starts, wait, he's got a rip in his pants, look. Yeah. It's unbelievable. He can't even dress himself correctly. Anyway, he is a lunatic, maniac. He starves his own people. He plays with nuclear weapons. Well, he doesn't really have nukes. He thinks he does. Yeah. But he shoots random missiles off here or there to try to, you know, pretend like he's a cool person. Yeah. And recently he said that he's going to recruit 800,000 troops to take out the United States. Well, <laughs> you may need more than that. Yeah, just, just a saying. little bit. That's the fastest he's run in his whole life, folks. Yeah, it probably is. I wouldn't be surprised. By the way, while we're looking at the nasty Kim Jong-un who has invaded and neither do his people, remember we are sponsored by Irish Spring. The nastiest soap there is. It will dry out your skin. It will probably give you shingles, it's possible. But it also deters, I've heard this, I don't know if it's true, deters rats and rodents and things from your house. And oh. 
Wait. from no place in particular, weighing in at 419 pounds, Barry! I don't know why Barry has such a menacing team. <laughs> we seem to have technical difficulties. It's still Kim Jong Un's team playing. But I don't know, maybe the audio person fell asleep. I don't know. Or maybe the leprechaun got to him. I don't know. Barry looks kind of confused. Barry looks pissed. Let's he, just be honest. He, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think he knows what's happening. I think he's... Oh, gee. Oh, wow. I wonder what's got him angered. Maybe he's mad because he's never won a match. That could be. Actually, he has won a match. I think one. They always do incredibly well in every match they're in there. The Bakery Boys actually do only have one win. One win and six losses. And one win against was against the Sons of Satan. Then they have lost six times in a row. Including at WrestleMatch 22 to the Mario Brothers. Where they had a chance at the tag team titles. But they got another chance tonight. Let's see if Barry is... Or is, was that Bob? This is Bob. Bob coming out to menacing music as I well. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know either. I think there's a problem backstage with the audio. I person. think there is. And from no place in particular, weighing in at 419 pounds. He looks very ah! mad. He looks very mad and very confused. I don't. I are they mad about their entrance not being right because that's one of their main things? I would say yes. Their entrances are usually very fun. Maybe they just don't like not coming out as a pair. I don't know, but they're looking at the audience like they want to slaughter them. I don't know what's going on with those two. I don't know either. Maybe there's tension. Maybe. Maybe there wasn't enough Bisquick to make pancakes to throw at the audience. Today. Maybe Barry burnt them and now they're mad. That's possible. Who knows? That's possible. Maybe the batter was expired. Could have been if you bought it at the Casanova Food Mart. <laughs> And no, I don't apologize for making that public statement. Well, either way, the Bakery Boys are here. They are here. And they get a chance to be number one contenders if they can make it past this qualifying match. But they do have their hands full. They're going to be facing the Idiots and the Dead Goods. And no matter how many losses they have, they'll always be fan favorites. They will. Now, who has the beard? Barry? Barry is the beard and Bob is bald. Barry the bearded bakery boy. Bob the and bald bakery boy. From Seattle, Washington. Weighing in at 273 <laughs> pounds. The Destroyer. Anyway, the Annihilator. And I have, I do like the Annihilator's new gear. It I is, do too. It is a lot better than just the jeans he wore for two years straight. It, it is definitely a much better get up. Anyway, the Annihilator from Seattle, Washington has four wins and seven losses, but he is the former number one contender for the EWO Championship and for the Intercontinental Championship. He's had a lot of title opportunities and has never seemed yes, to take advantage of Yes, including against Dr. Plague at WrestleBash 20 for the Intercontinental Championship. Why does it seem like even the sky itself has become a dark blue? I don't know. Oh boy. Here he comes. One half of the dead dudes. Former EWO number one contender himself, Dark Side. Who also has an incredible new attire. I'm telling you, the sky is the same shade of blue as the And red. from the other side of darkness, weighing in at 288 pounds, the well, we at the Extreme Wrestling Organization have the best lighting team in the world. We do. It wouldn't surprise me if they were able to turn the sky blue. Our audio technicians, though, might have to reconsider their employment. Well, they got Annihilator and Dark Side's entrances correct, at least. Anyway, we'll have to figure out what's happening. Wait. I am getting some news. Apparently, there was... Oh! My goodness, the lights are back on. Apparently, from what I am hearing, there was a scuffle nearby the audio team, oh, and no. it knocked the audio guy unconscious for a few minutes. Oh, wow. I, I'm hearing it had to do with the leprechaun, but I'm not sure who else. We'll oh, get no. some more information on this hopefully soon. Wow. But, yes, there was a scuffle near the audio team. It knocked out the audio technician, and the leprechaun was involved. Interesting. Yes. 
We'll have to update you as this story unfolds. Antoine, if you hear us, get more info. And here we go. Now remember, this is a tag table match, which means the first person to put someone through a table will win the match. I think. I believe that's how it goes, yes. Oh, look at Annihilator with the table already. So this honestly could be a quick match if people aren't paying attention. We've never seen a match like this before. And Annihilator knows that these kind of matches can take a long time. And theory off the oh second my row. God. Onto Donald. If they didn't have pancakes, they do now. Oh, there's yeah. There's a lot of flattening the flattening present. Wow. I'm sorry, did I just say that? The former president. Yeah. We're still scarred from that experience. And now, oh man. Bob picking up Donald Trump now. Wow. Where is he going to take it? Nowhere. Donald is escaping. Yes. Elbow to the midsection. And now a punch. Oh. Oh, wow. The idiots double teaming now. And that is. Oh, my gosh. And he oh. puts him to the table. It's over. But. Oh, no. Oh, he's turning him around to do no. it. No. With the end. Oh, I don't know. He dropped him the other way. What a stupid move. Oh, oh, oh wait, what? What happened? I think. What happened? I don't know. What happened? That was fast. Too fast. Here are your winners. The dead dudes win. They put Kim Jong Un through a table. No way. Yes, way. Wow. Wow, folks. The intro is longer than the match. I figured that might have. It might not have taken very long. Like, Donald Trump put as much thought into that maneuver as he did his whole presidency. Yeah. He almost won the match. <laughs> that was... So wow. That was a match. A very quick one. It was that. very quick. But, I mean, we have a long pay-per-view, so... That's true, but wow. I was not expecting that. Me either. <coughs> Well, either way, the Bakery Boys will not be taking home a win. They will not. Well, they so, didn't really get the chance. Well, they did, but they, I mean, anybody could have prevented that. Someday, somehow, the Bakery Boys may win a match again. I don't know. I just want to know how Donald Trump can put 400 pounds into a vertical suplex. I have no idea. But you could ask the same question about how Donald Trump puts 400 pounds into pants every day. <laughs> Anyway, we're so glad you took time out of your day to join us for St. Patrick's Day Demolition. It's been an incredible event so far, honestly. We saw the return of the Leprechaun. Yeah. We saw the return of uh, um, other people. Oh, the Idiots. We saw the return of the Idiots and the Dead Dudes. We did. Jim Brunzel is going to be in the number one contendership match now against the Leprechaun. Yeah. It's been, a, it's been a good pay-per-view so far. And now we see the return of the Cape Crusaders. No way. And the return of the Movie Monsters. Two, one a very old tag team that hasn't been around in a long time. Right. And one tag team that split up in a dramatic fashion. Yes, they did. At WrestleBash, Batman and Robin lost the tag team championship match. And in a backstage brawl following that match, Robin took out Batman. And here they are again tonight. And interestingly enough, Batman is also the St. Patrick's Day champion and yeah. will defending that championship tonight. Very interesting. Here we um, go with another table tag match. Let's see if this one lasts more than 22 seconds. The last one didn't last 22 seconds, did it? I wonder how Batman and Robin made up. I don't know. It's a good question for Antoine. Who is backstage tonight? Speaking of which, here's Batman, and he's holding the belt. He is holding his St. Patrick's Day Championship. It could be the last time he ever does. Could be. Well, not quite. He still has to bring it to the other match, but still. He's definitely proud of that belt right now. That is a cool looking belt. The title. following contest is, very cool. is a triple threat tag team tables match. Wow. Introducing first. Throw. From New York, Sally, what weighing up. in at 269 pounds, the action champion, I, Bruce Wayne. I just can't get over that incredible belt strap. That is amazing. 
Batman, boys and girls, four wins, two losses in the EWO. He won the St. Patrick's Day title from the Leprechaun two years ago and defended it. Wow. Yes. And of course, he won the Royal Rumble, Fairy Tale Royal Rumble, to become, e well, no, it was the real Royal Rumble, yeah. to become EWO number one contender. And then he was arrested. He could not hear a wrestling match. He's back now. He and is part back. of his tag team was He is back. As you said, he was, you know, he's back with Robin. They were a tag team. They split up after the Royal Rumble, or split up after WrestleBash, and then had that backstage brawl. I still remember that beautiful silver bat suit. Oh yeah, that was unique. Bring on the generic music. Here's Robin. California. Weighing in at 227 pounds, Rude Boy, the Assassin. I think he's the, the Boy Wonder, right? Yeah. The Boy Wonder, Robin. Very agile. Yeah, he's showing off his moves. Could they pull it off tonight? It's possible. It is possible. He needs to get some new entrance music, though. He does. But again, he hasn't been around for a hot minute. Speaking of generic entrance music, something's and going on backstage. From on Wadley, Alabama, okay. weighing in at 255 pounds, Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown, one half of Farmers Only. Yeah. And remember, folks, if you're feeling upset or depressed at home, maybe a little down. You don't have to be lonely with FarmersOnly.com. What? They were a sponsor of ours for years. Yeah. We wouldn't be here without them. I know with Farmer Brown. Yes, there's more scuffling. There, There is a brawl going on backstage right now. Oh my! Near the audio booth. And it appears that Jim Bronzel sat down and is now doing audio to help out. Wow. Yeah, and something major is going from on. From Mustang. I don't know what's happening. This has never happened before. Weighing oh. in at 337 pounds. Outside of the backstage Tucker controversy. Farmer. It's Tubbelard. Tubbelard with the right music. And remember, farmers only are from Mustache Mountain, boys and girls. Mustache Mountain. Wow, he's ready to go. Look at him. He is. I don't know how one decides to take up a farmer's lifestyle. Like, how do you change your life around and then say, I'm going to be a farmer tomorrow? I don't know. Tumblr did it though, and he seems to be very happy. Well, so did Farmer Brown. Farmer John. Farmer, farmer somebody. Farmer Brown. Yes. All right, yes, Jim is in control of the audio. Whoa. Trying to get more news on the scuffle. And from your darkest fears, weighing in at 178 pounds, the Nightmare. One of the, not the most accomplished England. superstars in the entirety of the Extreme Wrestling Organization. He is certainly the most accomplished, yes. He's a former St. Patrick's Day champion, former Holiday Supremacy champion, former Field of Fairy Tale champion, and former Valentine's Day champion. He's got seven wins and four losses. And he is now part of the movie monsters. He could become a tag team champion at WrestleBash. It could happen. He could add to his incredible record. He could. And his tag team and partner. From I Illinois, know. weighing in at 258 pounds, Michael Myers. It is Michael Myers, boys and girls, and you know about Michael Myers. We all do. Tell us about his greatest match of all time. The man who put the greasy one, Bulk Bogan, through the side of the steel cage. After, and I will say after, he endured Bulk Bogan from the top of the cage dropping onto him. Somehow. 
And you can see that match as well in Best Matches of the EWO. Yes, again, check out that video. That match is in there. And here we go. This is a table match. The first person to put an opponent through the table will go on to the finals. Oh, let's see if this match is longer than the last one. Michael Myers is doing something up on the ground. Yes, he is. And Tubblar was in control of Robin for a second. He still is, by the way. Frank and he Cooper. throws him to the map. Freddy Krueger and Batman in the back. And oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Freddy Krueger. Oh, oh, wow. That knee to the face. And he's put a lot of the Oh. I don't know what that was. I don't know, but he missed. Is that an asteroid? I don't. <laughs> anyway, Farmer Brown now with... with with that lock on Michael Myers. And, oh, there's a table in the ring. I think Freddy Krueger brought one in. Now he's going to bring another one in. And he sets it up on the... So that's not a bad idea there. For Batman knocks him over. Oh, oh wow. Gosh. Batman gets knocked over by a table. Yes, he does. Oh, my. Absolutely vicious. Table tries to get set up, but it's knocked down. Or is it up? I can't tell. I don't think it's up. I think it's down still. Barbara Brown, maybe good use. Yeah, it's down. Of that, of that maneuver, but that's not the goal of this match. If you have to put your opponent through a table, you do. That's the goal of this match. Oh my god, did you see that? What a move! What a maneuver! Sets Freddy Krueger flipping in the air! Unbelievable. Oh my. Batman oh, now oh, still oh, in god. control of Freddy Krueger. I feel man. like Freddy Krueger and the Leprechaun are the same name. I think they do. Oh, we saw this. This is a maneuver Farmer Brown was using on Michael Myers. Maybe. And he's doing it again. What is this? It could be strategic trying to get in the hand so they can't grab the table. Oh my off. gosh, I never thought of that. It makes sense. Now Batman will control Tubble out of the corner. And he, oh! Head oh, to the man. turnbuckle there. Wow. Batman standing on that table. Not anymore. Yeah, they look like Batman and Robin were working together for the first This time. maneuver just over and over again. Yes, I think you're right. I think the goal is to make it so they can't handle the table. I think so. That's the only reason I can think of. I mean, if, you, if your hands are both broken, how do you pick up a table? You just don't. Well, if that. everybody's hands are broken, who wins? Tumble are getting some of that too. And we have a record length for the tag team table match in the EWO. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a great maneuver. Bringing a table in, the yes. second table. Now Batman, I don't know, maybe trying to go for the third table? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, I don't know. Well, boys and girls, bring your family. We got table settings for them all here at yeah. yeah. Robin grabs the second table. And tr just throws it out of the way. I, well, that's smart because if you throw somebody over the top rope and they land on that table, that's true. Mm -hmm. the match. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's just flat on the table. Four tables! Four tables! What? What is going on? A table for each team. No way. <laughs> tables galore right now. <laughs> this is much better than the other match. It is. Michael Myers now the first to maybe set one up oh, and, and and it could be over. It could, it could be, be over. Oh my. You know how quick this goes when the table's set up in the ring. It's anybody's match Whoa. at the moment. Robin tries to drop kick misses. He does. Freddy dead on the outside. Oh, it's Freddy's dead. No, no, he never is. Yeah, you're right. He always comes back. Batman now in control of Michael Myers. Close to the ground. table. Breaks it up. Oh, Freddy Krueger, smart move, knocks it over the table. Knocks it over with the skull. I don't think that hurt him even a little bit. Trouble on and Batman on the outside. One you don't need another up. table if that's what you're trying to do. I don't know. Batman now. There's only four of them. Batman now trying to set it up. I, I don't know. He's looking for something. Knocks over Freddy Krueger. Yes, he does. Throws it down. These table matches are quite interesting. They are. Batman in control of Farmer Brown now kicked to the midsection and now oh oh man. going for a power bomb. Farmer Brown just leaves Batman over the top there. Remember, Batman can't fly even though he has a paint and he's a bat. True, explain that. I don't know, but now they're on the outside. 
He probably proves his bad as a He sets it up in the corner. Oh, this could be it right oh. here. Yes, all you got to do is Iris whip someone into that corner there. Oh, my. And the match will be over. Tumblard probably could go through the front table. He could. Ted Kruger just tops the table on his head. He does. He vicious. Michael Myers got the table now. And he's going to set that up in a different direction. Yes, he is. Now two tables ready to implode here. And this can end at any second. It could. Now. It really could here. Who will go on to take on the dead dudes? I don't know. Batman. Oh! Oh! It's Freddy Krueger! He puts Tumble on through the table. Wow. One brontosaurus thighs broken right in half, I think. Here are your winners! Freddy Krueger and Michael Myers, the dead dudes making their return with the win. Actually, they did, yes, but these are the movie monsters. Yeah, my bad. And they're going to take on the dead dudes. Oh, really? For the number one contendership. That's going to be a menacing match. It will be. Holy hell. What carnage we've seen so far. This is really demolition. That last match, it was demolition. It was. All right, our next match is for the St. Patch... Oh, shoot, I messed that up. I always do that, don't I? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to go back and fix that. But in the meantime, we have news from Antoine. What is going on backstage? Antoine, what do you got? Oh, to my goodness, holy, holy cannoli, cannoli, my goodness, you know what I just heard? Actually, no, I did not hear it. I actually witnessed it with both of my eyes. Antoine, what is going on backstage? <sighs> okay, so... At the concession stands, we have several McDonald's here at the concession stands tonight because we just to do. Well, anyway, <laughs> listen to this. Jim Branzell, he go and he buy a shamrock shaker from a McDonald's and he bring it back and he sit down in the backstage area. But then, listen, then this is what to happen. Ronald McDonald whipped it out of his hand in anger. No. Yes, he did. And then the leprechaun got pissed off because he said, that's my shake. And Ronald said, no, we make it. Leprechaun says, no, it would not even exist without me. And then oh, wow. they got into a backstage fight. Oh, my. And so tonight, in the main event, we are going to see a, a battle of the Shamrock Shakes between Ronald McDonald and the leprechaun. No. Yes. Unbelievable. Oh, and it was possible. Anyway, I gotta go back and I gotta see Wing what's going on, but yes, in the main event of the evening, it will be a... The Leprechaun with the Zorana McDonald in a battle for the Shamrock Shake. Well, thank you, Antoine, for the incredible update. Keep us posted if anything else happens, but that oh my. dude needs to take some anxiety medication and take a nap. <laughs> he gets himself way too worked up for oh these my. things. But it is exciting. Battle for the Shamrock Shake. Ronald Un McDonald versus the Leprechaun in the main event. Unbelievable. Wow. That's a first. It's a, it's a shame that the audio technician had to get caught up in it. I know, I know. But, I mean, when you're battling around him, you know, that's vicious. Oh, wow. And I'm sorry you have to see Donald Trump again, ladies and gentlemen. It's a sad day. It is. Honestly, this is not a match that's supposed to be happening. Well, a bunch of things happened going on backstage, so they might have gotten a little bit confused. I'm sure they probably did. What excitement tonight! Battle of the Shamrock Shake match! Unbelievable. Unbelievable indeed. It'll be one you will not want to miss. Definitely. So if you've turned away because you can't figure out what on earth is going on or why we're doing this, stay tuned, folks. Battle of the Shamrock Shake match, Ronald McDonald versus the Leprechaun. Well, folks, it has been an, an incredible pay-per-view so far. St. Patrick's Day Demolition 2023 has been incredible. Yeah. And it's not even over yet. That means the Leprechaun is going to be in three matches tonight. Wow. I guess he deserves it. It is kind of a pay-per-view that was made for him. And the yeah. reason I say that is because if I don't, he may be after me next. It could be. But hey, at least you didn't have to see the Flying Squirrel tonight. Thank God for that. <laughs> All 
Alright, whoever wins this match is going to be the number one contender to face Batman. Actually, he might have to fight four matches. Whoa. If he wins this. Highly unlikely. Oh, I just messed that up again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Technical difficulties. While we take a break in the action, we ask you to go to your local dollar store and pick up a bar of Irish Spring. That's right, Irish Spring soap, the worst soap in the history of ever. <laughs> Truth is, ladies and gentlemen, it's terrible. It will dry out your skin. It's like an SOS pad. If you've ever cleaned with an SOS pad, it's that bad. It will dry out your skin. There have been individuals that have gotten shingles from Irish Spring. It smells, it does, actually doesn't smell that bad, but it does repel rodents from your house, from what I've heard. <laughs> so go down to Dollar General right now and pick up a bar of Irish Spring soap today. technical difficulties in one match tonight we've had in two yeah. we're gonna get canceled <laughs> We thank you for being patient with our technical difficulties folks. Yes, we do. Up, let's make sure we have the correct individuals in the next match, shall we? Now go get your shamrock shakes at the concession stand in this break in the action. Yes, and here, this will be the main event. Ronald McDonald versus the Leprechaun in the battle of the Shamrock Shakes. But next, we've got, and this is legit, this is happening. Yes. Jim Bronzel versus the Leprechaun. The winner will be the St. Patrick's Day number one contender. Can the Leprechaun pull it off against the former champion who had the title for two years? I don't know. I think it would be easy to see or easy to doubt the Leprechaun's ability to be able to win this match. Jim Bronzel, of course, being the longest reigning champion in the history of the Extreme Wrestling Organization, undefeated for two years. And the Leprechaun, having been gone from the Extreme Wrestling Organization scene for so long, almost the entire length of Jim Bronzel's championship run. Alright, I'm taking a break to go to the concession. Well, folks, we are about to see what could possibly be either a very fast or a very long match. And here he is, the former EWO champion, Jim Bronzel himself. The half 
to say he definitely looks ready for this match. He looks like he's been mentally preparing himself for the past few as long as well. He's definitely been ready for this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey. Weighing in at 246 pounds, Jim! The legendary man himself, Jim Bronzel. One of the most, if not the most legendary figure in the history of the Extreme Wrestling Organization. Looking to become the number one contender. opponent, of course, here he is, the slightly, extremely terrifying Leprechaun, both of these men tonight and his opponent have won the from opportunity Dublin, Ireland, in this match, weighing in at 205 pounds. The Lunatic, the Leprechaun, you can use those words interchangeably, they both apply. He looks just as jolly as he was before. Somehow. He must know that going into this match, is possibly one of the worst outcomes it could have been for him. Jim Bronzel, the undefeated for two years former champion, is the person he has to take on. He knows that this is probably going to be the hardest fight possibly of his entire career. But still, somehow, he seems to be, or at least faking this jolly attitude, so either he's not too scared, or he's just insane. They are selling green popcorn at the concession stand. Wow. And here we go. Who will be the number one contender for the St. Patrick's Day title? And they lock up Jim Bronzel with a swift kick to the midsection. And he immediately runs to the outside. On the top rope, all the way already, but he misses. Very high risk maneuver there, does not pay off. And the Leprechaun with a swift punch, showing off the crowd. Very bad move early on, but still a kick brings Jim Bronzel down to the ground. And a knee to the face, vicious, and a cover already. Only a one count though, the Leprechaun, very swift attack. Oh, my! What a maneuver! Wow! That springboard reverse DDT. Oh, oh my God. wow! What? And a moonsault, springboard moonsault. Oh, but Jim oh, Bronzel getting Brunzel. angry. Oh, wow. And fist to the face. Very angry. Oh, gosh. Vicious move brought down to the mat. And just vicious punches from the leprechaun. Really going after the champion pretty heavily early on in this match. He is. Weakening the legs. The Leprechaun, boys and girls, only five foot five. Oh, oh my goodness. A springboard bulldog. Unbelievable. That is crazy. He's definitely a master of technical maneuvers. And clever. One. One. Two! Oh, oh that was goodness. close. He almost beat Jim Brunzo. That is crazy. I'm amazed how much Jim Brunzo has been just completely dominated. Well, so far. I don't know if he's used to this type of unorthodox fighting from the Leprechaun. I don't think he is. And a sharpshooter here. Will the Leprechaun submit? 
It'd be a shame if he submitted after all he's done so far. And I don't think he's going to. No, no he's not. He kicks out. And they lock up. In the leprechaun with the knee to the face. Oh, my. Oh. Tim Bronzeldo coming back here. No! Oh, oh my. Who's on to the leprechaun? Oh, what no, is no. lost to the eyes? I oh, my God. God. He just throws him down. And it's so over. Hard. This could be it. One, One two, two, three. Oh, my God. He's beat Jim Brunzel. I did not believe what we just saw. Oh, my. Now I see how things got so heated backstage. He is. Wow. Did we just see that? Wait, what's this? What is happening now? Oh, wait. In a show of camaraderie, wow. a show. Look at that. Wow. Jim Brunzo raising the arm in respect to the leprechaun. Oh, my. What a great wow. moment there. Unbelievable. Great sportsmanship there by the former champion. It is. Ending off the match with a handshake. We've never seen that before. I don't think so. And now we know the Leprechaun is going on to face Batman. Will he get his St. Patrick's Day title back? We'll just have to find out later on. I know I'm yelling, but I can't help it. What action? It is. That was amazing. I'm very impressed by the Leprechaun. Me too. This popcorn's good. It doesn't taste green. Wow. That was an incredible match. It was an incredible match. And what does that say about the Leprechaun defeating the former two-year yeah. title holder? That's insane. But I'm just like, I am... Absolutely thrilled that we saw him raise his hand. That great sportsmanship. And you yeah. don't see that often. You don't. Very respectable. And now, this match will determine who will go on to face the Mario Brothers at Russell Bash for the tag team titles. Will it be the following contest? The Dead Dudes or the Movie Monster? Introducing first, from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Destroyer. The Annihilator coming out first. One half of the Dead Dudes. Yes, and the music is right. I know. <laughs> I am too. And here comes Dark Side. Getting darker here is Guadalajara, Mexico. And his partner from the other side of darkness. Weighing in at 288 pounds, the Punisher. It is Dark Side, the other half of the Dead Dudes, who very impressively put away their opponents, well, one of their opponents, very quickly. In the, uh, the tag table match. Possibly one of the fastest matches we've ever seen. So what does that say about them coming into this match? Well, it definitely tells it definitely tells us that they are very capable of winning this match. I also picked up a Mountain Dew slushie at the concession stand. Fancy. They were all out of shamrock shakes. I imagine they stopped selling them for what happened. Probably. And if you're just joining us, 
Our main event of the evening will be the Leprechaun versus Ronald McDonald in a battle for the Shamrock Shake. After, of course, that backstage brawl that took place between them. We have to get the scoop from Antoine. Illinois, weighing in at 258 pounds, Michael Myers. Antoine is so damn nosy, he always knows what's going on backstage. Well, he's very useful. Now. <laughs> And here is the first half of the movie monsters. Yes. Michael Myers. And this will be a normal tag team match. After we saw two, well, one incredible tag, tag team table match tonight. And from your darkest fear. Weighing in at 178 pounds, the Nightmare, Robert England. His real name's Robert England, but he's Freddy Krueger. Now you have to think that the movie monsters comprised of the man with the most championships in the EWO and the man who put Hulk Hogan to the side of the steel cage. Could they be one of the most powerful tag teams? I don't see how they can't. I mean... They've got to be the favorites in this match, right? Maybe. Dark Side and Annihilator have done virtually nothing in three years, four years. And, and there we go. They lock up, and Michael Myers fires Annihilator into the side. The turnbuckles. And what is he doing now? I'm in the ropes here. Oh my god! Oh wow! That is brutal. Michael Myers, not with an armbar on Annihilator, he could submit here. Dark side stepping in. Oh, Dark side coming to break it up. The ref's got to get him out of the ring now. Michael Myers finally fired in the corner. Vicious blow to the midsection. Three, four of them. And a slap to the mask. advantage of Michael Myers right now. And, oh wow! A wind-up punch. A wind-up uppercut. Now he's going to drag him to the center of the ring. And here's a... No. Never mind. He decides not to. Or is he going to try again? I'm not quite sure. Yes, going for cover, but not blocking that leg up, so nothing comes out of it. Very strange decision. And here's the tag. Bring it in dark side now. And Michael Myers fires dark side into the corner. Oh my gosh! Vicious! He slams his head into that turnbuckle pad. Oh my god. Belly to belly suplex takes down the Cape Crusader. Or oh, wait, no. He looks like the Cape Crusader, doesn't he? Kind of does. He feels evil. Dark side, dark side. Freddy Krueger now in the ring after Dark Side. And they lock up. Freddy Krueger on the shoulders of Dark Side. And just draped over the rope. Now looks like Dark Side, yeah, going to tag in the Annihilator. And an uppercut. And a claw. Looks like an elbow to the head and just a flurry of blows. Firing Freddy Krueger over the rope. Oh. Oh, why? Wow. A stunner there over the oh, rope. Oh, and climbing, the top rope. climbing to the top turnbuckle. Oh, my. An elbow drop to the outside. Wow. Ow. That is not. Oh, my. And just throws him. Throws him into the barricade. Yes. Wow. Got a vicious kick. Yeah. 
and what a brutal match. Oh, my. Well, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. Remember, this match can end in a countout. He's trying to regain his stamina. I don't know why Annihilator did that. I don't know. Oh, great oh, man. Barricade. Ow. That is going to hurt for a while. I'm surprised nobody else is not involved in this since it's on the outside. I know. Nylander steps back in. Nylander really into this match. Maybe yeah. this will be one of his only wins. Maybe. Freddy Krueger looks pretty windy. Mm -hmm. Not doing so much. Nylander got him, bringing him to his corner. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's very cool with a counter attack. Yeah, it's a claw hand, too. He's thrown back into the corner. And a tag is made. Very smart. Oh, my Oh, my. Tag team move. This is blow to the gut. Thrown to the apron. Dark side misses a punch, but he lands that one. What's this? Oh, my. What is happening? Oh, oh my God. A backdrop right to the apron. That is just vicious. Two. I don't know how his back just isn't broken. I don't know. And it throws him once again into that steel barricade. You can see the steel side of it. Yeah, it's yeah, padding, but not much. Three. Trust me, you throw that Kruger. steel. Freddy Krueger's not moving. He, oh, no, there he is. You can't kill Freddy Krueger, you know this. Dark side rushing outside. Freddy Krueger might want to get in the ring and make a tag. But right now it doesn't look like he can. Oh, oh my. What a rapid elbow drop. Leg drop and oh, right. follow it up. Right on the neck. Oh, he missed that. Is this the turning point for him? Maybe. No. No, going to the inside. He's not doing good at all. He needs to go over and get that tag. Dark side now. Calling for his finisher of the tombstone, perhaps. No, he's gonna oh. walk the ropes. Oh We've my. seen this before. Oh, oh geez. Freddy Krueger, there's no way. Michael One. Myers stepping in to break it up. Broken up at the last second. And here it is. Oh boy! Still pile driver in the cover. One. One. Two. two. And that Michael was, Myers breaks it up luckily. Except that probably would have been it. That was a slow count too. Dark side now going after Michael Myers to take him out of the equation. Now will he go for a pin? No, he's going to go for a tag. Smart move. And Michael Myers rolls to the outside. Will Annihilator finish him off? Looking for the total oh annihilation here. Will he do it? No! Oh my! Yes! One, One two, two, three! He's done it! The Dead Dudes are number one contenders and will go on to Russell Bash to face the Mario Brothers. Wow. Here are your winners. You know, honestly, that match kind of seemed one-sided, surprisingly. It did. Dark Side Annihilator, the Dead Dudes. Getting their big moment now. They've waited how long for this? Probably forever. But they finally got it. They'll go on to Wrestle Bash. Wow. That was a great match. That was incredible. I don't think that's right. It definitely is not. <laughs> yes. Now we know what this match will be. 
the Leprechaun getting his chance to regain the St. Patrick's Day Championship, taking on the current champion, Batman. This one should be a very interesting match. And now, boys and girls, we know one more match that we'll see at WrestleBash. It will be the Dead Dudes, Dark Side and Annihilator, taking on Tag Team Champions, the Mario Brothers. We will also get to see Burger King versus Colonel Sanders versus Gordon Ramsay versus Bolt Bogan wow. for the Fast Food Supremacy match. Tyson Davis taking on Intercontinental Champion Aaron Luther. Antoine Canoli Finoli Dinopoli taking on Ronald McDonald for the fairy tale title. And in our main event, it will be Matt Golden versus Warlow in a battle for second chances for the EWO Championship. What a card we have set for WrestleMania. What a lineup. The following place is an extreme rules match and is for the Action Championship. No, the St. Patrick's Day Championship. Somehow, folks, after he made his return, he's already fought in two matches. This will be his third, and we'll see him in the main event, too. Making history as the first individual to fight four matches in one night. Wow. And win them all. Well, so far. He could win all four. Well, he beat the former champion. This is going to be a heck of a match. Yeah, well. Oh, I've been told there's a special sale at Dollar General on Irish Spring. Buy one bar, get 11 free. <laughs> That's right, a 12 pack for $4.99 at Dollar General. The worst soap in the history of ever. What a deal. Yeah. the leprechaun ready for this match. And there he is, the St. Patrick's Day Champion. Yes, he is. The Cape Crusader himself. Batman. Who lost in his match earlier with Rob, of course. We'll have to see if they stick together this time. We'll see. And boys and girls, in case you haven't taken the time to watch it yet, make sure you check out the Extreme Wrestling Organization's collection of best matches so far. You'll get to see Bulk Bogan versus Michael Myers in the steel cage. You'll get to see Joe Biden and Donald Trump in the brawl for it all, and many, many more. 
available on the Extreme Wrestling Organization's YouTube channel. The best of the best matches in the history of the Extreme Wrestling Organization. Yes. Well, you gotta wonder what condition both these men are in. Batman having fought in that tag team title match, or that tag team number one contendership match. And now the Leprechaun, this is his third match tonight. Yeah. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Lunatic. He's a fan favorite tonight. Yeah, somehow. And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 269 pounds, he is the action champion, Bruce Wayne. Yes, he is the St. Patrick's Day champion, which he won from the Leprechaun in 2021. So this is a rematch of sorts. Wow. It's been two years since we've seen the Leprechaun. His last match was against Batman. Will he take back that title? Well, we'll just have to find out right here, right now. Yes, this is what it's all about. Big fight feel here in Guadalajara, Mexico for the St. Patrick's State Championship. And they lock they up. They lock up, and Batman brings him to the ground. Batman with a quick takeover. Wow. And several fists to the face, but the Leprechaun intelligently covering them up. Batman now picking up the Leprechaun. Oh, my. And here is a submission maneuver. Hard great, to see through that great, angle, but great camera angle. will he give up here? Will he give up? No, it looks no. like he's elbowing his way out of that hole. Oh, oh this no. Is another swing. Yes. Batman continuing the assault with the side suplex there to quick and cover number, first of the match. One, one two, two. Only a two count. Yet. Only a two count. You gotta wonder how fast this match will be, considering both men are probably pretty wore out. Oh my. But Batman climbing the to the top. Oh, oh my goodness! It's the elbow drop in the middle of the spine of the leopard. Oh my! Look at this. Yes. A dragging toe there takes Batman down to the mat, and now Leprechaun following up there with a... Oh! Oh my! I don't know what that was, but it looked like it hurt. It did. Leprechaun now... With the springboard wow. fist of more fury. Of technical maneuvers. And now mocking Batman's maneuvers. He is. A takedown wow. here, just like Batman did, and using the same maneuver to put fists in the face. But Batman with a counter. Oh my. Wow, this is a brawl. This is. This is just ruthless. He definitely is. What is he doing? I have no idea. Kicks after kick. Ooh, oh my, the Leprechaun gaining his freedom. Yes, Leprechaun coming back now. And they lock up. Batman's back in control. More fists. Wow. Wow! Oh my goodness. What a flurry of moves there to cover one, one two. two. Oh, oh wow, that was close. Almost retains the championship. Leprechaun now in a bad way with these kicks. And that last one was right to the face. And we're going to see this maneuver we saw earlier a hundred times in the tag match. It really does weaken the arms and the hands. Oh, a spear and a cover. This could be it. Two. That's it. That man retains. And with barely any effort. Here is your winner, and still action champion, Bruce Wayne. Batman has had that title now for two years. Two years. Wow. Yes, wow. Well, we have made it to our main event of the night. And I know this is one 
that everyone has been waiting for. It took place earlier this evening and unfolded. Why don't you recap and let us know how it all went down backstage? Well, we were having some technical difficulties with the intros for the Bakery Boys, and we found out that the technical difficulties with the theme songs was caused because the audio technician was knocked out during a backstage brawl, who I believe was between these two right here. Yes, it was. And it was over a shamrock shake from the concession stand. And now they're going to fight it out. The winner of this match will get possession of the shamrock shake. What more could you want, really? There is nothing else to ask for. I'm surprised, and I don't want to say this so Ronald can hear me, that they were able to make shamrock shakes at these McDonald's today, and their ice cream machine wasn't broken. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you've never seen a Ronald McDonald intro, you're in for a treat. <laughs> and I don't mean a happy meal toy. I wonder if this is the first time Ronald McDonald has found himself in Mexico. I don't know. Maybe. The crowd seems mixed. Yeah. How are you supposed to react to this, though? I don't know, but... Ronald's used to things being mixed. If you order a McDonald's, you don't know what kind of order you'll get. Usually. Yeah. It's true. I was getting booed. Yes, very mixed reactions for Ronald McDonald here tonight in Guadalajara, Mexico. At St. Patrick's Day Demolition, sponsored by Irish Spring. And here he comes for the fourth time. He just lost the last match against Batman, but in the main event, he could win the Shamrock Shake. He could. I mean, if he comes out. And he is, he's back. And he's just as excited and happy as ever before. I don't know how he does it. I don't know. It's a bit uncanny. I wonder if we'll see him again. Or if he'll go back into retirement. I don't know. He's creepy as hell. Yeah. And remember, boys and girls, after the last match, when Batman won or retained the St. Patrick's Day title, that means he will compete at Russell Bash in the Holiday Supremacy match against Dr. Plague, the Halloween champion, Santa Claus, the Christmas champion, Satan, the Valentine's Day <laughs> champion. It's going to be a match for the ages. Oh my God. And Santa Claus versus Satan will be a rematch as well. Yes, it will. We saw that at Christmas Carnage. And now, folks, get ready for the main event. The Shamrock Shake Match. Here we go. Donald, or not Donald Trump. Ronald McDonald blocks a uh, move from, oh my gosh. The Leprechaun still on his game. And a springboard wow. somersault. He's not the come. This could be it. One, two. two. No. He's not trying to make the same mistakes he made in the last match. Oh, armbar takedown there by the clown himself. Yeah. Vicious punch from the yes. he Fires Ronald. No, he doesn't. Oh, oh wow. Wow. that was a drop kick to the kneecap. That was crazy. Oh, 
knee to the face. And another cover. One. one. Two. No, only a one, one count one. that time. Oh, he's oh, off the top rope. Huge air. What on earth? That was insane. And now and again, off the top the rope. The top turnbuckle waiting for the clown to arise. Oh, oh bad move though. Oh, moves out of the way. Oh my. Now Ronald McDonald looking for something on the ground. That's not going to happen though. No. Leprechaun takes quick work of that. He certainly does. And he lifts, well I thought he was going to lift up the clown. But kicks to the ribs and then to the face. Even more demoralizing. And here we're going to see that hand hold. Very popular move tonight. It is very popular. It's hard to grab fries out of the bottom of the bag when you can't feel your hands. <laughs> yeah. Leprechaun now going back into the ring. Ronald McDonald tried to figure out where he was. Oh my gosh. And a vicious chop. Fires him into the corner. Yes. And now Ronald Mc... Oh. Ronald <laughs> McNuffin. <laughs> Elbow to the face. And now continuing the assault. Three knees to the jaw. It appeared there on Toronto McDonald. Oh my. And those are elbows, boys wow. and girls. Oh, my. oh we're we're saw, this move again. we saw that takeout somewhat earlier tonight. And a cover. One, One two, two, three. And the Leprechaun wins the Shamrock Shake. He has done it. Wow. Here is your winner, the Lunatic. The Leprechaun has proved tonight that without him, there would be no Shamrock Shake. There would not be. Absolutely not. He wins the Shamrock Shake. He didn't win the St. Patrick's Day title. But let's be honest, it was great to see him again. It was. Perhaps he'll come back in the future. Maybe. We'll be back in the future. Our next event will be the Russell Bash 23 pre-show where we run down all of the matches you'll see for the evening and get some special guest behind the scene interviews. We'll see you for that soon. But I'm Jason Purdue. And I'm Truman Purdue. And thank you for tuning in to St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day Demolition. Day Demolition.